and Arifa Khatun. I am from Worli CPS English Municipal Secondary School. We are here for studying science and technology part one. Since we have started yesterday with our chapter number five, that is acid, bases, and salts. And uh, we will have a recap for whatever we have gone through yesterday. So please pay attention and then we will move uh, towards today's lecture. Now, since the name of the lesson, acid, bases, and salts, we will be studying them individually. On the screen, you can see there are fruits which all of us like very much. We also know the taste of different types of fruits. Some have, uh, some are sweet to taste, some are sour to taste. Then th there are also some things which are salty to taste. So here, which you can see is lime, orange, and curd. Curd is not there, but we know the taste of curd. It is sour. Sea water, whenever we play on a chow party, so most of the time the water goes into our mouth also, eyes also. And immediately we feel salty over there. So why does it feel? Because the sea water is salty. It contains salt. This also we have seen yesterday about the different uh, compounds, their molecular formula, then basic radical, acidic radical, type of compound. We have seen, no? Now, hydrochloric acid, Hydrochloric acid is HCl, molecular formula. Basic radical is H plus and acidic radical is Cl minus. So when the basic radical is H plus and acidic radical is Cl minus, it is an acid. Another example I have given you was that about the NaOH. So the compounds in which the acidic radical is OH, acidic radical is OH, such types of compounds are known as Bases. Then one example, one more example, which we have taken yesterday was NaCl. NaCl is a salt. The name of the compound is sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is nothing but our daily uh, household edible salt. So how does it uh, get the definition of a salt? Okay, when the compound has the basic radical other than H plus, an acidic radical other than OH, then such compounds are called or, or as known as salts. So three examples we have taken and this is for your homework, you should complete it in your textbooks only. Then after that, we have seen about the ionic compounds and yesterday also we, we have re recapitulated. Yesterday also we have recapitulated it. Okay, so we have seen about the ionic compound that is again NaCl, it is a, a very nice example for showing the electronic configuration also and showing the ionic bond. Huh. Showing the ionic bond. So we have come across a, how uh, sodium uh, shares the electron, donate the electron and how chlorine accepts the electron and then it becomes a complete octate. It becomes a complete octate. Both the sodium and the chlorine. Sodium atom and the chlorine atom, when it becomes a complete octate, a compound uh, sodium chloride is formed and it does have uh, bonds on them and that is called as an ionic bond. Then after that, uh, I have given you many I have given you many uh, examples of uh, the electronic configuration, different figures. This is the same. This one is also the same. How does the sharing of electron takes place and how does that uh, sodium gets the positive cation bond, a positive cation uh, and uh, Cl minus, that is the anion. One more uh, example or the uh, figure showing the ionic bond of 
sodium chloride. Then uh, we have also seen about the disassociation of ionic compound. Now the compound is just the same that is uh, sodium chloride and we have seen the dissociation. How the dissociation takes place that means we know the compound NaCl. NaCl. And uh, when we add NaCl to water, when we add NaCl to water, we know salt is soluble in water. So solid NaCl dissociates and Na plus and Cl minus ion in aqueous solution. In the left side of the figure, you can see a, when we add water to sodium, uh, when we add sodium chloride to water, initially the uh, Particles of sodium chloride, they are clubbed together. They are joined together. But slowly, slowly, water molecules pulls them. And in this way, sodium and chlorine, they get disassociated. Okay, so this was about the recapitulation. Now we are to the actual part of our today's lecture. That is uh, page number 60. And it is the Arrhenius theory of acid and bases. You could see one uh, photo on the screen. So this is nothing but uh, Sir Swant Arrhenius. Sir Swant Arrhenius, a Swedish scientist, Sweden. He's from Sweden. That is why he is called as a Swedish scientist, though he was a physicist. He has worked in the field of physics, but he got the Nobel Prize in the year 1903 for his work in chemistry. So, Sir uh, Swant Arrhenius put forth a theory. One more thing to tell about him okay? he was born in the year uh, 19, Feb uh, 19 February 1859, and that is 1927. That is his. Uh, Year, so year of uh, dying. So he died on 2nd October 1927. And he was a Nobel Prize winner, a very uh, excellent award in the field of, uh, in all fields like literature, uh, science, and uh, many, many fields. The highest uh, award, highest award uh, on an inter in an international level, that is a Nobel Prize. So Sir Swant Arrhenius was a Swedish scientist. So Sir has given uh, the definition of, uh, he put forth the theory of acids and bases in the year 1887. And what his work was acknowledged in 1903 for which he got, for which he got the Nobel Prize. So he gave the definition of acids and bases. We will look one by one. So the definition of acid uh, is like, you can see on the screen as well, acid. So what is an acid? An acid is a substance which on dissolving in water give rise to H plus ions as the only cations. Example, HCl. Acid is a substance. So when we add water to the acid, Though water is not added to acid any time, because that is quite dangerous. So, what happens if you add water to acid? So the acid comes out immediately from the test tube, and it might get spilled on our hand. So any injury can happen. So always remember, k water is not added to acid. Acid is added to water. Because the example, when water is added to acid, it is exothermic. Exothermic means a large amount of heat is liberated. So it is important to let you know because uh, we are reading the sentence, the acid is a substance which on dissolving in water. It is given. So that is why it was necessary to tell you. So acid is a substance which on dissolving in water, it gives rise to H plus ions. The main ions are the H plus ion. So H plus, what are H plus ions? They are the cations because they have a positive charge. 
they have a positive charge and that is one example i have taken here that is hcl hydrochloric acid and in your textbook two three examples are given one more example we can take is uh, as h2 s o 4 that is sulfuric acid so on the equation form chemical equation form will uh, show like like this hcl gaseous state it is in gaseous state hcl so on dissolving in water on dissolving in water that is this association it gives h plus aqueous solution aqueous h plus aqueous ions and cl minus ions that is also aqueous so how is the reaction you can see in your textbook also hcl gaseous form it gives h plus cations the only ions which we get after dissolving the acid to the water is h plus ions and very few are the cl minus ions cl minus ions okay then again one more example i have given here for sulfuric acid it is h2so4 this is sulfuric acid again the dissociation takes place this is liquid in the bracket near h2so4 i have given there uh, l that is l so it means it is in liquid state arrow indicates uh, it is giving the product so the reaction is the reaction is dissociation reaction we have seen ab about the dissociation of ionic compound here we are uh, seeing only about the uh, acid so again it gives mainly h plus ions aqueous form and remaining hso4 minus that is also in aqueous form so in this way we have come across the definition of acid a an acid is a substance which on dissolving in water give rise to h plus ion h plus ion as the only cation now this is uh, for your uh, extra knowledge i have collected some uh, slides examples of acids examples of acids now here vinegar lemon juice orange juice curd tamarind amla black tea apple juice unripe mango grapes these all substances are sour to taste that means they contain acid and uh, you know the source acid from where does it come like lemon if we eat lemon we enjoy lemon on curd and there are many recipes so lemon contains citric acid tomato contains oxalic acid grapes contain tartaric acid tamarind also contains tartaric acid only milk contains lactic acid and contains formic acid whenever we have a bite due to an ant red ant black ant so we feel like uh, sometimes swelling is also there and itching sharp itching is there so it is due to formic acid then malic acid it is uh, present in apple and vinegar it contains acetic acid so in our uh, now let us see ke uh, the different types of acid are found uh, in uh, at uh, where where they are found hydrochloric acid is found in our stomach stomach acid whenever you feel like acidity like there is a burning sensation in your chest and you are having uh, uh, your your stomach is uh, suffering from gases so that time uh, it is uh, the notification also we can say ke your body has an excess hydrochloric acid the level of hydrochloric acid is uh, at, uh, increased and that is why we are uh, feeling such sensation so acidity can be reduced by using soda water because soda is a base baking soda it uh, gives you instant relief 
sulfuric acid is present in car and batteries and all batteries any type of battery nitric acid explosives like your uh, crackers and uh, that uh, shout very noisy crackers are there no so that explosives and some other explosives also acetic acid vinegar carbonic acid sodas phosphoric acid flavoring common acid flavor dene ke liye formic acid i told you and sting citric acid lemons oranges juices uh sweet lime lactic acid curd milk oxalic acid spinach and your uh, tomato ascorbic acid amla citrus fruit citrus fruit and all tartaric acid tamarind grapes unripe mango etc you just uh, note down it will be quite uh, helpful for your general knowledge okay so this was about acids now we have come to the definition of bases definition of base earlier we have seen the definition of acid now the definition of base we are on page number 61 of the textbook now what is a base a base is a substance which on dissolving in water give rise to oh minus ion as the only anions example naoh sodium hydroxide got it simple definition just you have to remember about the oh minus ions and the h plus cations so base is a substance which on dissolving in water give rise to oh minus ions as the only anions an example is nh that is sodium hydroxide we have seen here the basic radical is na an acidic radical is oh minus that is why it is a base okay so in the equation form chemical equation form we could see like this naoh solid sodium hydroxide in solid form it gives na plus aqueous plus oh minus aqueous on dissolving in water it is giving rise mainly to uh, oh minus ion it is giving mainly rise to oh minus ion it is a base and we identify base or because it contains oh uh, acidic radical oh so which on dissolving which on dissolving in water give rise to oh minus ions that are the bases example of bases we can see here now detergent baking soda drain cleaner antacid base ammonia your hand wash your dish wash lime water and the milk of magnesia milk of magnesia these are some of the examples of bases where the bases are found extra knowledge we can take like sodium hydroxide is found in soap daily soaps uh, though it is the toilet soap or your uh, uh, any other soap so drain cleaners drain is clean for for the floor uh, for the um, cleaning purpose of block drain block drainage so when we put the such uh, bases in the the things in the drainage and overnight it get clear magnesium hydroxide antacid uh, aluminum hydroxide antacid deodorants calcium hydroxide lime water ammonium hydroxide window cleaners magnesium hydroxide again in milk of magnesia ammonium hydroxide ammonia common base that is it is used to prepare ammonia that is the common base then the definition of uh, next is the classification of acids and the bases classification of acids and uh, bases still we are on page number 61 so just now we have seen about uh, just the acids and the bases now we will classify the acids also and the bases also so how will uh, determine the acids or the bases are uh, classified now on this side only i will tell you the classification of acids and bases is it will take acids they are classified as strong acids weak bases two types strong acids weak bases let us see the definition of strong acid ha ah, definition of strong acid 
on dissolving in water strong acid dissociate almost completely and the resulting aqueous solution contains mainly h plus ions and the concerned acidic radical on dissolving in water the strong acid dissociates completely all the cations and anions they get separated completely and the solution form is resulting aqueous solution it mainly contains h plus ion it mainly contains h plus ion and the concerned acidic radical now if we take the example of hcl hcl is a strong acid hcl is a strong acid when it dissolve in water the it dissociate completely and the h plus ions and the cl minus ions they get separated h plus are the basic radicals and cl minus are the acidic radicals i hope you understood example for this is then example for strong acids are hcl hydrochloric acid hbr hbr that is uh, hydrogen bromide and uh, hno3 hno3 it is nitric acid suppose now we have dissolved hcl in water the h plus basic radical the cl minus acidic radical they will get separated but that particular aqueous solution will mainly contains h plus ion for all cases hbr also and for hno3 also okay here is an example okay, how does the strong acid dissociates completely left side you can see completely left side you can see clearly strong acid see all the h plus cl minus are separated hcl it is a strong acid it is a strong acid therefore all the h plus and cl minus uh, ions are getting separated there so this is the case for strong acid right side one it is a weak acid so i have not given you the definition still but i will read out that definition so that you might uh, get it understood get uh, it understood through the uh, figure how the definition of weak acid will be? if you remember the definition of strong acid you will eventually remember the definition of weak acid definition of weak acid is on dissolving in water a weak acid does not dissociate completely and the resulting aqueous solution contain h plus ion and the concerned acidic radical in small proportion along with the large proportion of the undissociated molecules of the acid so easy and so interesting to learn also from the picture you can clearly understand the weak acid what is a weak acid ki when it is dissolved in water the h plus basic radical the h plus ions or the basic radical or uh, and the concerned acidic radical now let us first uh, segregate the acidic rad basic radical and the acidic radical from h2co3 h2 is the basic radical co3 is the acidic radical so what happens with the weak acid when you dissolve in water the basic radical and the acidic radical they dissociates they does not dissociate completely and the solution contains h plus ions also and co3 uh, uh, minus ions also along with along with the 
large proportion of undissociated acid who is undissociated as acid here h2co3 green ones green ones and sometimes there is also without color also blue ones also and uh, very few we can see h plus and co3 minus ion so that is the case for condition for weak acid is it does not dissolve or dissociate completely and the solution contains h plus ions and acidic radical in small quantity along with large quantity of undissociated molecules okay the definition next is oh, sorry the example for another one example for uh, a weak acid is ch3 c o o h this is one we have taken h2co3 and this one is the acetic acid ch3 c double oh next classification of bases so the classification of bases here is strong bases weak bases two types definition of strong base we are moving to us definition of strong base so on dissolving in water strong base dissociate completely and resulting aqueous solution contains oh minus ions and the basic radical for we must know the example first here we must know the example we know the example of a base that is the noh the acidic radical was oh acidic radical was oh so noh was is a strong base so when you do the same thing when you dissolve it in water it dissociate completely the na plus ions and oh minus ion get separated they both get separated and the resulting aqueous solution is formed that is a strong base example for strong base is the naoh sodium hydroxide koh potassium hydroxide caoh twice calcium hydroxide clear strong bases we are moving to us now weak bases weak bases now weak bases it does not dissociate completely and the resulting aqueous solution contains small proportion of oh minus ion and the concerned basic radical along with the large proportion of undissociated molecule of the base same we are dissociating the weak base in water so on dissociating completely sorry it does not dissociate completely and the solution which is formed it contains small portion of small proportion of oh minus ions oh minus ions and the concern basic radical oh is the acidic radical uh, so it contains small proportion of oh minus ion acidic radical as well as the basic radical like it may be another one i will give the example plus the large quantity of undissociated molecule of the base so example for the weak bases nh4 oh ammonium hydroxide sorry it is i mistaken it is written ammonium sulfate actually it is ammonium hydroxide the correction is left ammonium hydroxide because we know oh is hydroxide only so the weak base is ammonium hydroxide okay now the next is the uh, alkali now what are alkali alkalis are also bases only but these alkalis are the bases which are highly soluble in water they are highly soluble in so we can say them that they are very strong acid strong bases only so the bases which are highly soluble in water 
are called alkali example strong base NaOH sodium hydroxide K, uh, KOH potassium hydroxide NH3 ammonia here NaOH and KOH are strong alkalis strong bases also while NH3 is a weak alkali NH3 is a weak alkali or a weak base the next topic we are moving towards is basicity and acidity of, of acids and bases of compounds so we are still on page number 61 only so before that i have given you one uh, taken one uh, table from the textbook itself how we have to complete this table you just listen you could do this the table like first one it is written acid number of h plus cations or ions obtained from one molecule like the first one is hcl how many h plus ions are there in hcl one second one hno3 how many h plus ions one third one H2SO4, how many H plus ion? Two. Likewise, H2CO3. H2CO3, again, two ions. Likewise, H3PO3, three H plus ions. Oh, uh, sixth one, H3PO4, how many H plus ions? Three. And last one, CH3. COOH. CH3 COH. So that will be four. H3 and that one, that that one of the H. That is four. So in this way, for bases also, you have to write down. Now this is one molecule of sodium hydroxide. So how many OH OH minus ions you will obtain from one molecule of NaOH? You have to write there. One I will show you NaOH. So you will get one OH minus ion. So likewise. Complete the table. Acid and bases. Now we have seen the classification of acids and bases uh, as a classification of acid or bases like strong and weak acid and uh, strong and weak bases. But the acid and bases are also classified according to their basicity and acidity. Let us see the definition. So what is the basicity of uh, acids? The number, let us see the definition for basicity of acid. The number of H plus ions obtainable by the dissociation of one molecule of an acid is called its basicity. It is like vice versa. For acid, it is basicity and for bases, it is acidity. The number of H plus ions which are obtained when you dissociate one molecule of any acid like HCl. So that is called its basicity. Clear with this? Next is the acidity of bases. Acidity of bases. For bases, we must know QOH, the dissociation of OH ions. The number of OH minus ions which are obtained by the dissociation or dissolving of one molecule of a base, like sodium hydroxide, NaOH, is called its acidity. Is called its acidity. Okay? So we have seen about the basicity of acid. This is the classification of acids and bases. So basicity of acids. Acidity of bases. Okay. So I think that's all for today then. So we must uh, stop here only because uh, uh, it will it will be good if you remember up to this only and uh, we could continue then uh, we could also continue in the next lecture the uh, other part. So before moving 
before moving uh, towards the end of the lesson we must uh, have the evaluation part so i will only answer these questions so the question is uh, like uh, name the following the first one constituents of ionic compounds this question i have asked or i have uh, read out yesterday only yesterday also so what are the constituents two constituents of ionic compounds the two constituents of ionic compounds are cations and anions second is the two acids name of any two acid hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid write their molecular formula also their names also two bases sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide sodium hydroxide and aoh potassium hydroxide koh then the next is the define the terms question number 2 acids and the bases very simple the substance on dissolving gives h plus ions as the only cations are the acids on dissolving the substances which give oh minus ions as the only anions are the bases difference between strong acid and weak base strong acid and weak base it is i have given you you, you have to just uh, differentiate between them and uh, you have to write on, uh, about the strong acid the definition i need example strong acid is on dissolving uh on dissolving the strong acid it dissociates completely and uh, the resulting aqueous solution mainly contain h plus ion and the concern at acidic radical example is hcl hbr hno3 weak bases on dissolving in water it does not dissolve completely and the solution contains oh minus ions and the concern basic radical example for them for the strong weak base is the nh4 oh nh4 oh so in a weak base it does not dissociate completely it contains small proportion of oh minus ions also the acidic radical as well as the basic radical small proportion and large proportion of undissociated molecules example is nh4oh we have taken so that's all for today i hope uh, you enjoyed the lecture i you enjoyed the lecture and uh, you will remember it and uh, go through the textbook and just revise then you could easily understand uh, if you'll go today only with revision whatever the things which are taught today and